So hi, welcome back. When the inviters get close to the cannon, you're supposed to lose the game. Create another object, name it floor, and give it a solid color. Place it at the bottom of the screen. Now when Invader collides with Floor, game over. Set lives to zero and destroy the cannon. Okay, it's working, so let's just make the floor smaller so we have more game time. Now pick the floor and the walls and make them invisible. On the other hand, if all the invaders are destroyed, the scene restarts. So system, compare two values, if invaders count equals to zero, wait one second and restart the layout. Last, let's add some sounds on a nice game over screen. For the sounds, add an audio object and then import some sounds into your sounds folder. If you import WAV files, Construct2 will automatically convert them to the right format. Then just add a play action in the, in the collision events. Since we have two events that destroy the cannon, Instead of adding a play action in both, create an event that triggers when the cannon is destroyed. And then play the sound. So you can select the sound and change the volume. Add one play action to when the environs are destroyed, when the cannon fires, and when the two bullets collide.
And for the game over screen, create a new sprite object. We have two frames, set the animation speed to zero so it doesn't cycle. Place it in the middle of the screen. Copy it and change the frame to one. Set both instances to invisible. Then, when life equals zero, wait one second, set them to visible, and And if they are visible and you press any key, reset the global variables and restart the layout. So there you have a finished Space Invader clone game. However, our game is not 100% loyal to the original. And since the best way to learn something is by trying, these are the missing features you can try to achieve by yourself. 1. Difficulty. The invaders should move faster as you destroy them. 2. Shields. There are some shields that protect you from the invader's bullet, but they will destroy as they get hit. 3. A mystery ship should appear on top of the screen, and if you hit it, you will get extra points, but the amount varies. And number 4. The game uses icons instead of numbers to display the player's life. Try to code that by yourselves, and if you get stuck, you can go back to this video and click here, here, or here, oh yes, there are 4, here, to see how we did it. Thanks for watching.